Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So first of all, just simply log into your credentials and once you're done with that, just simply come back over here. Now here, just simply search for the security. Open this thing new tab like this way. Come back over here. Wait for a second. Now here you can see findings. Just simply click over here. And then just simply click on this three dot. And here you can see mute option. Just simply click over here. And from the left side, you can see create mute rule. Just simply click over here. Now what you do? We have to just simply create the three rules. So just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number one. Now just simply scroll down and from here just simply copy the first name. Copy like this. Come back over here and just simply paste over here. And make sure that there is no extra space over here. Now in the description box of this video, I will share all these three query. So first of all, just simply copy the first query for the first rule. Copy like this. Come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way and it's done now just simply wait and then click on this save so we are done with the first rule again come back over here just simply click on this and from here just simply copy the second rule copy like this come back over here click on this create rule like this way now just simply paste over here now for the second rule query again come back to the notepad and from here just simply copy the second rule copy like this come back over here paste and just simply wait and then click on this save button like this way so we are done with the second rule as well now again come back to the lab instructions and from here just simply copy the last name copy like this come back over here click on this create rule like this way just simply paste a name over here like this way now again just simply come back to the notepad and from here just simply copy the last query just simply come back over here and just simply paste over here just simply click on this cross now just simply click on this save and it's done so we are done with the all these three query now again come back to the lab instructions and click on the check my progress for the task number one you will get a score without any issue now for the task number two what you do just simply come back over here and click on this overview just simply click over here wait for a second now just simply scroll down now here you can see active vulnerabilities now here you can see open rdb port and open ssh port just simply click on the first or second you can just simply click on rdp or ssh now just simply scroll down and here you can see open rdp port now just simply open this new tab like this way now again just simply scroll up and here you can see in the categories option open ssh port just simply click on this checkbox like this way wait for a second and again just simply op click on this open ssh port in new tab like this way now come back to the rdp over here now just simply scroll down and here you can see default allow rdp just simply click over here wait for a second and then click on this edit rule now just simply scroll down now here you can see source ipv4 range now we have to just simply replace this range with this just simply scroll down and from the task number two you can see this range so just simply copy like this way come back over here and just simply paste over here and once it's done then click on this blank space so it look like this now again just simply scroll down and then click on this save so we are done with the rdp again come back over here and here you can see ssh port now just simply scroll down and here you can see default allow ssh just simply click over here wait for a second and now just simply click on this edit like this way scroll down now just simply remove this and replace with this now click on this blank space now just simply scroll down and then click on this save so we are done with the task number two now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue now for the task number three what do you do first of all now here just simply search for the vm instance like this now just simply click over here wait for a second and then click on this name now just simply click on this edit button like this way wait for a second now now just simply scroll down now here you can see networking and here you can see network interface just simply click over here scroll down over here and here you can see external ip v4 address just simply click over here and then click on this reverse static external ip address just simply click over here now for the name come back to the lab instruction and from the task number three point number four you can see this name so just simply copy this name like this way come back over here just simply paste and then click on this reverse wait for a second now And it's done now just click on this done and then click on this save now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what you do just me come back to the security and if you just scroll down over here and here you can see detection and control you can see web security scanner just simply click over here wait for a second now now just me click on this new scan now for this name just me type quick lab and now here you can see for me it's showing the starting url one sometime what happened you are able to see the two url so basically just simply remove the second url and now with the first url what you do just simply remove this and replace with this just simply copy this thing come back over here and just simply paste over here like this way now for the external ip again come back to the vm instance just simply click on this name and from here just simply copy this external ip copy like this come back to the security now just simply remove this like this and it must look like this let me just zoom in for you 
it must look like this and once you're done with that just scroll down and then click on this save now just simply wait over here and it's done now just simply click on this run like this way now it is going to take a couple of minutes meanwhile what we'll do we will move forward with the last task of this lab so just simply click on this and just simply search for the bucket open this thing new tab come back over here wait for a second and then click on this create now for the name just simply come back to the lab instructions and click on the task number four and from here just simply copy this name carefully copy like this come back over here now just simply paste over here like this way now click on this continue now here you can see location type just make sure that you have to choose a region like this way now from the lab instruction you can see for me the given region is us central one so i'm going to choose that for you if it different you can just simply choose that one okay now click on this continue and scroll down then click on this continue now uncheck this checkbox and then choose a fine grains over here and then click on this continue and then click on this create wait for a second now now what we do we have to just simply upload any file which is having on your system now as you can see if i just simply click on this upload file and just simply upload any file which is available on your system like this way and click on this open just simply wait And it's uploaded over here now what you do just simply come back to the lab instructions and from here you can see finding json l just simply copy this file name copy like this come back over here and now just simply rename this file with this like this way you have to make sure that you have to remove like this and just simply click on this rename and it's done now if you just simply scroll down and click on the check my progress for task number four you will get a score without any issue now if you just simply check the score for the task number three let's see if we get a score over here or not so as you can see on my first time i got a score for the task number three if you are not able to get a score on the task number three no need to worry if you just simply come back to the security and here you can see it's finishing in a 10 percent so we have to just simply wait until it shows as a hundred and once it's done you will get a score on the task number three without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys